Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with a little something different for you today. We're so used to looking at monsters and turtles and superheroes. Well, today comes courtesy of my friends over at Nacelle Toys. This is a look at their Legends of Laughter action figure line, Wave 1, featuring real-life comedians like Lenny Bruce right here. Nice window box packaging, nice graphics, nice colors, very much reminiscent of The Price is Right. If I had to pick anything, that's just a lot of fun. It makes me want to go and play Plinko, right? But on the back side, you get some nice illustrations and you get a little bit of a write-up for old Lenny Bruce. Definitely check out his comedy, as with Bill Hicks. So again, same type of packaging. I like the logo right there. Legends of Laughter, you got the microphone. It's very cool, very interesting. And who to thunk it, right? An entire action figure line for comedic legends. Interesting, to say the least. Again, so used to the, the usuals, but this is totally out of left field and it's very refreshing at the same time with our third comedian being, of course, Joan Rivers. And I will say this, out of all three, I would say I'd know Joan Rivers the best, especially with her red carpet takes and all that jazz. Very cool. And it's just a nice spread of comedic talents. All of them which, of course, taken way too soon, but all of them equally as hilarious. So, this is going to be an excellent time. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe grab a cigarette or two, right? <laughs> as you'll soon see, this is a look at the brand new Legends of Laughter, Bill Hicks, Joan Rivers, and Lenny Bruce by Nacelle Toys. And if all of you out there in TV land are too busy rolling on the floor with laughter, well, why not consider subscribing? We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here are now all three comedians taken out of the packaging. You get one basic accessory across the board. You get a couple cigarettes, right? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. But we'll kick it off with Bill Hicks. So like I said, you get a microphone, you get the microphone stand. Very simplistic, but it definitely achieves that look. And the microphone is removable. It's got silver and a black handle, which again, that's a microphone for you. Goes into the stand and it's nice and secure. Bill Hicks himself. I would say, if anything, again, Joan Rivers, Bill Hicks, Lenny Bruce, They've all taken on a bit of a, a caricature approach, right? I wouldn't say they're all too realistic, but they kind of have a cartoony vibe. And I think that that fits in terms of a comedic action figure line. And I love that they gave him a cigarette. That's amazing right there. The other hand is perfect for a microphone, maybe a cocktail, maybe a gun. Looks like he has a trigger finger to him. But the paint is really nice on the face. Again, it has a more cartoony vibe, but I totally dig it. Where the paint kind of goes south is on the red shirt. It gets very sloppy amidst the jackets and the collar. Everything else, largely plastic. Very little paint on these figures, I will point out. The head portrait, obviously, the cigarette, little accents here and there. The articulation is very basic. Again, this is kind of their first forays into the whole action figure line you can remove the hands but they don't have any articulation points to them and unfortunately you can't swap the hands between the two gents because the jacket sizes are bigger but for the cigarette hand i think that's perfect although i wish that with the included articulation being that he has a cigarette it would have been cool to be able to get that up better Better articulated to have it look like he is actually smoking. You get a little bit of a waste. The jacket, the jacket coat prohibits a lot of movement when you want to kick the legs up. He's got some thigh, he's got double jointed knees. And the foot articulation is basically a swivel. It's not an ankle pivot, it's not an up and down, it's just a swivel. So overall, it's decent articulation for this type of figure. And next up we have Joan Rivers, who again, comes with the same exact microphone, same exact stand, nothing too different there. Joan Rivers herself, I will tell you this, is the one I think that lands at the bottom across the line because of the lack of articulation. And she honestly looks a lot more cartoony than the other two gentlemen, right? She has this separate piece around her shoulders, kind of like a feathered boa sort of situation. 
You can move it around and it'll work with you if you want to move the arms all the way up, if you so choose. The arms are unfortunately at an angle. You don't have any bicep swivel for Joan. She has double jointed elbows, but it gets hindered by that feather boa around her neck. The hands will simply just twist. But again, some bicep swivel for Joan really would have made moving her around, at least in her arms, a little bit more fluid because you're very limited in the poses. And also the joints, if I'm being honest, look very mechanical. When you want to rotate her at the waist, she will rotate, but let's be honest, it's not going to look the best. Also, she kind of gets kind of gappy in the waist. Nice sculpt for the skirt. The feet seem to move. There's not really any legs underneath there. It's just the skirt, and then they put some feet in there. But apparently, she has some momentum, at least on one of the feet, right? And then right here, as you can see, it's a bit of a goof because you wouldn't be able to see the skin tone within the dress, right? The way it is. So that's kind of mispainted, or at least that's what I'm thinking. The backside, everything, again, nicely sculpted. Joan comes out looking good, but as an articulated action figure, it is unfortunately very limited. Which then, of course, brings us to our final comedian with his microphone and mic stand being, again, the same exact. And you have Lenny Bruce, which I'll be honest, I like the way they did Bill Hicks because it looks like he's talking into the microphone. Lenny Bruce looks very stagnant, very much the thousand yard stare sort of deal, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in displayable purposes, because there's not an extra head portrait, it comes across as very lifeless, right? I think that would be the best way to describe it. Basically the same articulation as Bill Hicks. You can't really swap the heads with either of them either. All of them are kind of their own parts and pieces, just FYI, but you can pull the heads off for those of you wondering. He does have a bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows, which again, I would say looks very mechanical. I think that they should try and work on that, at least in some aspects, right? The jacket is very stiff on Lenny Bruce. You're not going to be able to get the legs up much at all. And he will have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and the feet don't go up and down, but they will swivel all the way around. So you can get some articulation out of that if you so choose. No peg holes, unfortunately. You can't really get him in a seated position either because of the whole jacket situation. And again, you can't really get the cigarette up to his mouth. Although, I like the way he's holding it. It's a little bit more of a naturalistic pose, right? But you can't really achieve those said poses that you would really want to pose them in for a bunch of comedic masters. Now, in terms of scale, these are around the six inch mark, but they're a bit of a smaller six inch scale. So you have Super 7's seven inch, Mattel's DC UCs, Marvel Legends, Hasbro's are gonna be a little bit taller, and McFarlane's seven inch DC Multiverse are going to be way out of scale with them, entirely too big of figures. Now, NECA Toys is Turtles, Sure, those are work. <laughs> Kenner's Real Ghostbusters? No, Jack Specifics, Mario and Hasbro's Boba Fett, Star Wars? Sure, that would be fun, right? Hauling Lenny Bruce in on a old bounty situation. And while these aren't necessarily my thing, they are cool in their own ways, but I think you get a lot of comedic photography out of these action figures more so than anything. What's better than Joan Rivers hanging outside the party wagon, right? Or having them all lined up having a smoke break outside Castle Grayskull, right? You can hear Skeletor inside coughing up a lung, right? Ha ha. Now, again, you could have certain characters, certainly not Joan Rivers with her articulation, but you can get old Bill Hicks in the Batmobile, right? With Michael Keaton wondering why. And you can have them hanging out with your Marvel Legends for the most part. They're going to be a little bit taller, but you could have some human characters to interact with and maybe heckle a Spider-Man or two. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Nacelle Toys Legends of Laughter Wave 1. And again, thank you to my friends over at Nacelle for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And you've heard my thoughts. And of course, now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Legends of Laughter. And who would you like to see to sell tackle next for maybe a wave too, right? Sky's the limit, any comedians will do. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We got a lot of Toy Fair coverage coming up this weekend. I hope you join, and when you do, 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.